Hi you guys, it's your girl Tanya once again and I am back with another video. So today's video, we are going to be talking about how the Cover FX Power Play Foundation and Concealer works on over 40 dry skin. So I am going to be applying this foundation. I'm going to be using it just like I would normally use any of my other foundations. Um, so I will be using a primer. Um, I've already moisturized my skin. I am going to use, for my primer today, I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So, <laughs> I wasn't a fan of this primer at first, um, but, because it broke me out the first time I tried it, but then I, um, I was using it, my skin was doing a lot of funny things at that time, and I was using it with, um, something else so I don't know if that's what made my skin break out but I decided to try it again and so far I am loving it I don't know if I'm loving it more than my Tarte um, smoothing primer but I'm liking it a lot so I got just about this much I'm gonna just kinda warm it up in my fingers a little bit and then I'm just gonna kinda ooh, I got a little bit too much right there. I'm just gonna kinda press it into the skin. Especially in the areas where I have a lot of pores that I'm trying to fill in. I just like to press it in there. And then kinda sweep it out. So I love the way that this feels on my skin because it feels just like silk, <laughs> which is pretty nice. So a um, couple things about this foundation. Um, it is a full coverage mattifying foundation. It is... Um, hypoallergenic it is a clean makeup so it doesn't have any of the things that we don't want on our skin um, as far as chemicals and things um, cover FX has a really good story behind them so if you guys ever are interested in their story you can look it up on their website because it's it's really interested how this company started so yeah So, okay, um, alright, so, foundation, so I'm going to give it a little shake here, I am not going to color correct, because I just want to see how the foundation is going to work on its own without color correcting, they say it has, it's full coverage and it's mattifying, um, so we're going to see how it works and it has a dropper type um, applicator um, and this is plastic so it's perfect for travel um, definitely perfect for travel oh man my little thing had was dirty already had foundation in it okay there we go that's better Okay, so I usually put my foundation in the top instead of putting it on the back of my hand lately. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a... Squeeze a little bit more out. I'm going to put about this much on there. I'm going to use my handy dandy um, NYX brush. And I'm actually going to take my fingers and just kind of pat it around. And oh, I'm in the shade... G90 and one thing I do like about um, the the shade range so there's like 40 shades in the range and they are kind of grouped in golden pink a P for pink G for golden and N for neutral so I'm in the shade um, G90 which I think is a wonderful shade it's a perfect, perfect match. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of my Fix Plus on my brush. 
because that's just how I like to do it. So I'm just going to kind of buff it in and see how the coverage is. So I feel like if you wanted a little bit of a lighter coverage, you could definitely use a beauty blender with this. Um, I kind of wanted to see how it would work better with a brush. Man, there's been another shooting at a Pittsburgh synagogue. My watch just told me, and that's just terrible. I pray for those people and their families. Now, let's just get the last little bit of this on the brush here for my forehead. So with one um, one layer of foundation, I feel like um, the coverage is pretty well. I like it. I, I can I can rock with it. Um, yeah, I can rock with it. I like the coverage, and I like the color as well. It looks really really nice. I can deal with it. Um, I, I I also like the packaging. I think that this is good, especially if you're like to travel a lot. I think this is a perfect um, container because you don't have to worry about it breaking or getting all over everything. Um, I like it. So next, we're gonna go in with the concealer. Um, this one is in the shade G Deep Two. Um, so it's Excuse in the me. shade Ooh, that was G Deep. Um, two. Um, I cut that out. It has the. It looks small, but it has the same amount of product as the sh uh, Tarte Shape Tape. So that's a lot of concealer, in my opinion, than the norm. So it's 10 mil. Um, it does have this little applicator here, which is not quite. Which is not quite a doe foot applicator, but it's more of a round ball. So, the shade I got is not very, I won't say it's super brightening, so, but that's okay. Um, I believe the deeper, sh like, they're in, like, um, deep one, two, three. You know, like G D one two three. I think that's how they are labeled. And like I said, this isn't gonna give me much of a highlight, but I'm still gonna use it. I'm gonna go over my nose and my chin and my forehead with a little bit of a lighter concealer, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. But underneath the eyes, we're just gonna keep it with the. Keep it with the cover effects. I'm gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. I like to go over the top part of my eyes as well because I have dark eyelids. Um, this is also a full coverage concealer. But what I like about it um, has a lot of claims that it doesn't crease and I think all concealers crease but out of all of the concealers that I've tried so far this one has creased a lot less and I have tried many yeah nice 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 I like it. Um, I'm just going to go in just a little bit more right here. I still see a little bit of a shadow. I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera, but I can. I'm just going to tap it 
because I am using a beauty blender that is taking a little bit of the full coverage away from it so but I like to use a beauty blender to really blend out my concealer because I feel like it really just presses it into the skin or fingers I like using but I like using a beauty blender more than my fingers so this is how the foundation and concealer looks I am going to go off camera finish the rest of my makeup come back and give you all my final thoughts and let's talk about the foundation just a little bit and the concealer I'll be right, all right back so I am back with the overall look um, first let me just say that this foundation really has like meshed into my skin it's been about maybe about 30 minutes since once I applied it and have done everything including my hair and stuff and the foundation kind of meshes into my skin I wouldn't say that this was a complete full-on matte or even a demi matte I would say this is definitely the definition of a soft matte um, I feel like it looks really good on camera it doesn't have SPF in it though I don't believe let me see no, it doesn't have SPF in it, which is good. Um, I feel like it looks really good on camera right now. So, um, one thing I will say, though, that I have noticed is that I feel like it's separating a little bit here in my smile lines. And let me just bring you a little closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But if you can tell, like right here in the smile line area, um, I feel like it has kind of um, separated just a little bit but not nothing that I can't deal with um, overall though I think the foundation is beautiful shade is beautiful um, it looks good on dry skin I didn't see that it was adhering to any of my dry patches I did moisturize um, with the Tatcha water cream and then I also primed with the Tatcha Silk Canvas um, Primer. So I do feel like, you know, it went on very smoothly. It looks nice. It doesn't look um, cakey or anything like that. Um, I did only go over it with one layer, but it did kind of cover this area right here with just that one layer. So I would say it is... Um, a full coverage I do believe that um, I overall like the foundation I think it works really good with makeup over 40 I think it looks really good with dry skin I feel like anybody could wear it um, yeah it looks it looks really nice so thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next one if you guys have not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit the bell um, so that way, whenever I put out new content, you guys will be the first to know. If you guys want some information about this wig, I will have that listed in the cards somewhere at the end of this video. Or I will link the video at the end of the video. But thank you guys so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. I will see you in my next one, you guys. Have a good one. Peace.